Alright, today I'm going to go over the banded kettlebell swing. This is a more advanced movement uh, than your traditional kettlebell swings, whether they're American or Russian, uh, because we're adding the accommodative resistance uh, of a band, which uh, makes it a little bit harder at the top end of the range, whereas traditional kettlebell swings can get easier. This really requires a lot of developing a lot of hip explosiveness, working the glutes, the hips, the lower back, and even a little bit of the leg. So, I would recommend starting off light on both your kettlebell as well as your band tension, and as you get comfortable, starting to build up on both. So, what you want to do is first you want to be able to properly loop your kettlebell. So you'll take your band, okay, loop it around like such, all right, and then place your band down on the floor like so. And then you want to step into your band, having it about over the arches of your feet. Make sure you got a good grip of the kettlebell, and then from here you perform as if a traditional kettlebell swing. Sending the hips back and really firing those uh, hips, glutes, and quads. Now with these, as you notice, you want to really focus on squeezing the glutes at the top. And as for safety measures, notice I only went to eye level. I highly recommend that. I recommend you do not go above overhead for obvious purposes of the band, but that right there is the banded kettlebell swing.